Okay, this video is going to document a cuckoo clock that we just acquired this week. This clock needs a little restoration, but we're going to do a video now just so you can see how spectacular the carvings are on this piece. Uh, this is a very unusual cuckoo clock. You can see the case style and the carving is totally asymmetrical. And we have photos of this clock on our website, but uh, to truly appreciate this clock, uh, a video has to be done to show just the extent of the carving. Um, in all the years we've been collecting, we've just never really quite seen a cuckoo clock like this. It's just uh, totally unusual. And you can see on the case, it's done in the hunter style, and you can see there's a fallen deer who's strung up on the top of the case. We have a nice braided bezel going around the dial. Uh, we have the rifle, which extends at the bottom of the case all the way up behind the deer. There's the powder horn. And you just see the detail of this carving is unbelievable. Uh, this whole clock, and we'll show you later, is carved out of a single piece of wood. So everything is one piece, including the dial, the bezel, the deer, the gun. Uh, look at the rope that is tied behind the dial that extends down. Again, this is all out of the same piece of wood. Uh, here we can have, uh, you see a game bird also, you know, look at the detail up under here, the rope that goes up to tie it on. Everything's done in three full relief, everything uh, extends out from this case. It's the game pouch. At the bottom you have rocks and ferns and different foliage. You know, just another detail we'll point out. You have the leaf here from the vine that extends in, and that vine runs all the way around the case. Spin the clock around here. See, there's the back of the clock, and the backboard is attached up here, and you can see the backboard is cut to follow the back of the case. It is hinged on the bottom. And again, you can see the clock is one piece of wood. Uh, it's all carved and then the backside is dished out to accept the movement, which is a very unusual design. We have a wood plate movement, uh, 50 hour duration. Again, when the backboard shuts, it uh, just follows that profile of, uh, of the back of the clock case. See again, uh, just to show you the detail. Again, just carved from one piece. This is just uh, absolutely magnificent. And this is a great cuckoo clock because it shows the evolution uh, of the cuckoo. And the cuckoo started out uh, very primitive in the shield form in the Black Forest. Uh, we have an example here uh, of a very early wood wheel paper shield cuckoo. And as the cuckoo evolved in the railway style house case, uh, in the 1850s and from there we see the carvings start to be applied onto that case and as time developed we get to a clock like this where the case that housed the cuckoo movement is uh, basically disappears and uh, the, the structure of the roof pediment is gone we don't see it anymore this is actually a, a sculpture carving where the cuckoo bird uh, is secondary. You can see the cuckoo's way back in here behind all this full relief carving. So the, the, the cuckoo and even the dial is second to this just carved masterpiece. And so it just, it's a very important example of uh, just the cuckoo's evolution and uh, just a phenomenally done clock. So anyway, the clock needs a little bit of restoration, a little minor carving here and there. Uh, it does need a new set of proper bone hands. And uh, when we're done with that restoration, we'll definitely update with a video showing the clock in action. If you're interested in rare and unusual Black Forest clocks, uh, you're going to want to check us out on our website. And our website is blackforestclocks.org. And uh, you'll be able to see uh, more rare clocks that are part of our collection here. So check us out. That's blackforestclocks.org, and uh, we hope to uh, see you uh, on our website.